Hey guys, today I thought it'd be fun to sit down and do a video that I've actually seen a few other pet YouTubers do that I think is a great idea, and that is the top five hamster mistakes that I have made in the past. So before we get started, make sure to go down there and hit that like button. I'm really trying to get my videos to 100 likes, and I would really, really appreciate it if you just gave me a big thumbs up. Now the reason I think this is actually such a great video idea to do is because it's very easy to see someone you've been watching online, and it looks like they're just an expert, and they know so much, and they take such good care of their pets, but in reality almost everyone when they first start out is gonna make some mistakes. Just because you make some mistakes with your pet doesn't make you a bad pet owner. What makes people a bad pet owner is if they know they're doing something wrong and they don't do anything, they don't research or try to fix it, or they just don't care. But if you're always trying to learn and continuously bettering your care, you're definitely doing something right, but everyone is going to make some mistakes, especially when starting off. So I've had hamsters for quite a few years now, but I definitely didn't make quite a few mistakes at the beginning. I'm still actually learning every day. I learned a lot through YouTube videos, hamster forms and just hands-on care you're gonna learn a lot over time but here are the top five mistakes I made early on in my hamster care number one when I started off I used very small cages um when I got cupcake you know him if you've been around for a long time I actually had cupcake in a 10 gallon aquarium when I first got him when I started this YouTube he was actually in a couple critter trail cages which are still really bad especially for a Syrian so small cages were definitely one of my biggest mistakes number two I definitely used the wrong wheels when I was starting out. Now fortunately I never actually used wire or mesh wheels but I did use wheels that were way too small. Once again with Cupcake since he was my first hamster it seems like he got a lot of the brunt of the mistakes but he was actually a Syrian and he was in the medium sized silent spinner for the beginning of his life which I believe is six and a half inches. When I started off that's what they had in the pet stores and that's what all the Syrians were shown in so I thought it was a great size. Unfortunately he did use that for a while until I upgraded to a Wodent wheel but that Definitely small wheels were one of my biggest mistakes. Number three, fluffy bedding. Um, you can tell if you watch a lot of my older videos, I actually didn't delete them, which a lot of people think I should, but I like leaving my older videos up just because it does show how much you can learn and change and better your hamster care. But in my older videos, once again with Cupcake, you will see him in his fluffy cotton bedding. Now, once again, this is sold in all the pet stores and I really didn't know my hamster seemed to like it. Everyone recommended it, so I didn't think anything about it. But unfortunately, I did use fluffy cotton bedding, which can cause a couple different problems. Number four, bad food choices. Now I'm not near as picky as a lot of hamster owners when it comes to my food selection. A lot of people try to get the exact percentages that are best. And while I do try to get close to there because I want my hamsters to have a very variety diet with a lot of good nutrition, I don't stress over getting the exact percent of fat and everything that you're supposed to, but I do try to get as close as possible. I do have a couple main food mixes that I go to and I mix them together to get a different mix. But in the beginning, honestly, I went with the cheap food, unfortunately. I went with stuff like you could find at Walmart and my pet store had some pretty bad foods. Once again, I thought the pet store recommended it and that's what they used so it was good but I learned very quickly that it wasn't. Number five. Number five is definitely the biggest mistake I made which I think is the biggest mistake a lot of new hamster owners and pet owners in general make. My biggest mistake when I first started owning hamsters is I didn't do my research before I decided to get a hamster. Now luckily today there are a ton of awesome pet and hamster youtubers so if you just do like literally 10 or 15 minutes of research you can find out so much. Of course you're gonna need to do more than that but to get a basic understanding, 15 minutes, you can get a pretty good idea and you can skip out on a lot of the mistakes that I made. Now, unfortunately for me, I did kind of get my first hamster on a whim because my roommate at the time got one and I had never had a hamster before. So I went out and I got one too. Now I didn't have cupcake for too long before I did come home and start doing a little bit of research. But at that time, honestly, there were a few good pet YouTubers out there, but there weren't near as many as today. So it wasn't quite as easy to get information. Now there were a couple really good forums and most of my information I learned from Hamster Hideout which is definitely still a really great forum that I recommend but all in all the lack of research was definitely my biggest mistake and a lot of my little mistakes could have been avoided if I just would have done a little bit of research before I got my hamster. So there you go those are my top five hamster mistakes that I made. Let me know down in the comments below what is the biggest hamster mistake you have made and what did you do to correct that mistake. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Like I said I'm really trying to get to 100 likes if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe down there so you don't miss my upcoming videos, and I'll see you guys next time.